The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? Clickwood here, back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. Guys, it is Saturday, which means we have two new Ultimate Legends added to the game. Today's Legends, Chad Ochocinco, Sam Madison, two great players from the early 2000s or so. Very, very good cards here as well. Uh, we're going to go in and take a look at them, guys, but I also want to point out one other thing. If you're not aware, this is like a public service announcement type of thing, but right now they do also have the solo challenges. You can go in here and get yourself a free Ultimate Legend player. All you have to do is go to the limited time solos, uh, then click on the Ultimate Legend ones. You're going to see here the first solo that you're going to do is going to give you 1,500 coins and an Ultimate Legend badge, which you are going to be able to use to complete Ultimate Legend sets. And then the other one, and by the way, this is only against a pro difficulty. Yeah, they're 97 overall, but pro difficulty, you should be able to win that most likely. Uh, and then this one as well is against pro difficulty 97 overall. This one gives you 2,000 coins, and it's also going to give you that ultimate legend player item, which can be anything from a gold to the actual boss legend. So yeah, definitely a good possibility for you to pull something decent here. I would really recommend it. These won't take you too long. Neither of them are super long solos, so... Uh, definitely worth your time. I will be doing them this afternoon. So uh, with that said, though, let's hop in here. Let's take a look at the new Ultimate Legend items that were added to Madden 17 Ultimate Team today. Again, the first one being Chad Ochocinco or Chad Johnson. We're going to take a look at him first. Uh, again, he is going to have two really good cards. He has a 98 overall and, of course, a 99 overall boss Ultimate Legend. Looks like the cheaper one right now, the 98 overall, is going for 767500 over on the PlayStation 4. And the Ultimate Legend Limited Edition looks like it's going for, well, cheapest one right now. Yeah, so cheapest one is about a million coins, 995 it looks like. Again, I always do say this, guys. Most of the time, these cards will drop a little bit in price over the week. First day that they're out, they're pretty expensive. So if you're looking to buy this card and you're not needing him today... I would really recommend waiting on them for at least a day or two because typically you're going to see their price drop a little bit. But let's go in and let's take a look at this card. This is the 99 overall version. The 98 is just going to be a couple attributes lower basically uh, in most of the things. So you've got 94 speed, 94 catching, 94 elusiveness, 96 spectacular catch, 94 release, 97 route running, 93 catching traffic, and 95 jump. So mid 90s on basically everything there, high 90 on the route running. Very, very good card overall, guys. It does also have the Playmaker Chemistry, which will give you the ability to make faster cuts on Playmaker moves from the quarterback. So when the quarterback sends you on a Playmaker-type route, which really isn't that common this year, I would say. Uh, so I'm kind of saying that this is, in my opinion, not really that worth it in terms of the actual chemistry. But, you know, it's something at least. It's At least it's something. Um, he does also have the Deep Threat and the Route Runner Chemistries as well. Same thing with the 98 overall version of that card. So then let's go in here and let's take a look at the other one, which is, of course, like I said, Sam Madison. This is a cornerback that was a Dolphins player forever. I, I don't even know. I don't even think I remember him playing for other teams. Um, he might not have ever played for other teams. I'm trying to remember. But he has a 97 and a 98 overall version. Kind of surprising they didn't give him a 99, but, you know, it is what it is. He's not like the top high-end ultimate amazing legend. But if you're going to call him an ultimate legend, you would think you'd give him a 99. But uh, if you look at him, guys, really not a huge price difference between the 97 and the 98 and that's again because typically the 97 or like the the lower version the non-limited edition it isn't much worse than the standard or than the one that's the the limited edition card so the, in this case we're talking about 725,000 for the nine or for the 97 and then uh 865 it appears for the 98 overall again let's hop in here and take a look at this same chemistries for each of the cards by the way 94 speed which is great for a cornerback this is one of the fastest cornerbacks in the game right now maybe other than Deion Sanders Trying to think of if there's anybody else. There might be somebody else, uh, but I, I know Dion's faster. But other than that, I don't think anybody else is really faster. 94 Excel as well. Um, that's going to help you keep up with those faster wide receivers. We're seeing guys like the team MVP, Mike Wallace, come out. I'm trying to think of who else. Um, obviously, like a Chris Johnson, which you're not really going to see him uh, lined up at wide receiver much. But, you know, guys like that that are super, super fast, it's good to have some speed so that you don't get burnt, burnt on those deep routes. He does also have 95 man coverage, 96 zone coverage, 93, uh, 93 press, 94 play recognition, 80 catching, which is very, very good for a cornerback, and he also has 91 agility. He is 5'11", which is a little short. It's not terrible by any means, but uh, it's not as tall as like a Rick. 
Richard Sherman or somebody like that, one of the real tall legends. Uh, this card also does have the pick specialist chemistry, the lockdown chemistry, and the edge setter chemistry. It doesn't have any of the super amazing chemistries on defense, but all of these are useful at least. So uh, there you have it, guys. Those are the updated legends. We are also going to go in here, guys, and uh, take a look and see if we can pull anything out of some pro packs. So if you guys want to stick around and watch that, uh, please do. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully, you guys learned something. And uh, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new. But uh, uh, with that said, we're going to just rip a few pro packs just for the hell of it at the end of the video. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this as well. I'm not going to pull any of like the real crazy stuff. Those are too expensive of packs, man. They're just, in my opinion, not worth it right now. I don't think these legends are like the real high end legends. So um, we're not going to, you know, spend a ton of coins trying to get them. We get the NFL Combine collectible. Not bad. We'll take that. We get a Michael Brocker. So that should pretty much wrap up that pack, unfortunately. But we got the NFL Combine collectible. That's not bad. We can definitely make use of that. Those cards are still really, really good, guys. Those Combine cards are nasty. Especially the Chris Johnson, obviously, with that ridiculous-ass speed. Let's see if we can get anything else out of these packs, guys. Give me something big here. Let me see some more red paint. This guy it looks like a freaking goon. Chris Neeld. Okay, dude. He reminds me of, uh, if you guys are wrestling fans, there's a, a wrestler in Ring of Honor, and I can't remember his name right now, but I know he's in War Machine, the tag team, and he looks exactly like this guy. Like, dear God. All right, <laughs> keep going here. Come on. Amari Cooper. And by the way, shout out to Christopher Daniels for winning the ROH title last night. Guys, if you're not pro wrestling fans, I apologize, but hey, you know, you gotta, gotta give props where it's due for a guy like Christopher Daniels who's been doing his thing for a long, long time and definitely deserves it. I'm a big Adam Cole fan, but uh, I mean, it's cool to see Daniels win as well. Let's keep going, boys. And see if we can get one of these freaking ultimate legends. I have pulled a legend this year. I did pull that Chad Ochocinco. So there's a possibility. It could be like Chad, Chad Ochocinco or Chad Johnson. I have a tough time because, you know, back in the day, we always had to call him Chad Ochocinco. Uh, so, like, that's, like, what I naturally refer to him as. But I did pull Chad Johnson earlier this year when it was just the base legend. So that was worth a hell of a lot of coins at the time. I was very, very happy about that. But now... We're really wanting to pull the Ultimate Legend, and we're not going to do it here as well. But uh, those Ultimate Legend cards, man, going for, you know, like we saw, about a million coins for the Ultimate Legend. That would be a nice little boost for me right now. I do have a whole bunch of unopened packs right now, and I'm also probably going to be doing the Journey. So, I, you know, it looks like I'm real low on coins right now. I can always add more coins, though, basically, at any time. Probably going to do that, uh, that pack opening video with a bunch of quick sells here in the upcoming days, maybe in the next week or so, hopefully. So if you guys are excited about that, make sure that you stick around on the channel. And uh, let me know in the comments section below if you want me to open that up. Damn it. I thought for a second, for some reason, man, when that popped up, I saw the Bengals helmet. And it wasn't even an elite card, but I thought it was. For some reason, I thought we pulled the freaking Chad Johnson. And, of course, we didn't. We got a freaking Geo friggin' Menard, who, by the way, is my running back in a CFM series that you guys are going to be seeing here on the channel in the next upcoming days. Um, he is my team's running back. We did a fantasy draft. I ended up getting Gio Bernard as my running back. Not super excited about it because he's not really that great in the game, but he's a good receiving back. And, uh, you know, honestly, I'm really not that good at running. Here we go, an elite. Please be something. And, of course, it's a fucking scouting combine collectible. <laughs> that thing trolled me so bad, man. I thought for some reason we were pulling something really great. Um... But yeah, Gio Bernard, he's really not that great at really anything in particular. So uh, other than, you know, he's a good, like I said, good receiving back, but he's not amazing. But I'm not really that great at running the ball, so I don't really think it's going to be that huge of a difference to me. I just need somebody that can catch the ball and, like, run when there's open field. That's about it. Like, I'm not really expecting him to go out there and break a bunch of tackles and juke a bunch of guys out. Just, like, run through the open field. When there's a when there's a hole and I press the R2 button and try to explode through it, all I need you to do is squirt on through there and uh, get to the second level, man. That would, that would be nice with Gio Bernard. You guys are going to see how good I am at running the ball or how shit I am. It could be either. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, we're continuing on here trying to pull this ultimate legend, Chad Ochocinco, or Sam Madison, Chad Johnson, or Sam Madison. That's going to be tough for me, man. Like, <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's just going to be tough for me to ever remember to say Chad Johnson again. Because, like, I have a Chad Johnson, like, Bengals jersey that I probably should have worn for this uh, video. But, like... 
I still think of him as Shadow Chosinko from, you know, all those years where that's what he had on the back of his jersey. And when we did, like, fantasy drafts or anything like that, it was Chad Ochocinco that you saw in Madden. It was Chad Ochocinco. I think he legally changed his name. Here we go. Another elite. Come on. And it's an Eric Berry base elite. Like, ah. Ah. Troll, 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 my friends. Troll, troll, troll. But uh, at least it's an elite, you know. At least it's going to, like, somewhat come, come close to paying for the freaking pack, at least. All the rest of these have been terrible, pretty much. We did get a couple of the combine collectibles, but those are somewhat common, so not really much value there. We get Avante Davis there, 84 overall, but we need we need a Sam Madison. That's the cornerback we're looking for, boys. We're going to do two more packs, guys. And again, if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure that you drop a like on them and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Come on. Let's go. Get me something beastly. We need two more. Two more packs. We get a Jaguars jersey there. That's not bad. Those at least still have a tiny little bit of value. Josh Klein. And that is going to do it for that pack. One more to go, guys. Thanks again, always, so much for all the support. Come on. We're going to go from the back this time. We're going to hit it from the back. Come on. And we get Michael Brockers right off the bat. He just screws us. Just trolls us right off the bat. So, guys, again... That is going to do it for this video. Thanks so much. Hopefully, you guys have good luck opening the packs today, and hopefully, you pull something beastly. Thanks again so much for all the support, and I will talk to you guys again soon.